Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen. Now before I get right into the re review and unboxing, let me discuss something. So, Lightning McQueen took on this paint job in the, in the Cars book. Mater Saves Christmas. I was originally going to upload this in December, the next five months, but since I've heard of a thing called Christmas in July, I guess I have no other choice but to review this. So anyhow, during his diecast releases of this decal, he was released in 2008 and has been released numerous of times in singles and in multi-packs and has been released for the 2022 series as a single, of which I got this one from a Walmart store, as I've mentioned in any of my previous videos. So, here we've got his artwork, and we've got Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen himself, and the old Cars logo, and we've got the old, and on the back we've got the old school Cars logo again, and we've got some of the other, most of the cars that I have previously reviewed. We've got Matthew True Blue McCrew, Ralph Carlo, Hall and Gaz. Marlon Clutches McKay, Fillmore, and Mater, and the one that I don't have on the back is Darla Vanderson. We have the RSN logo, which says RSN Race and Sports Network, and the Mattel logo. Oh, and I forgot to mention that on the front we've got the Mattel logo as well. So now, let's get right to the unboxing. So here we are, the Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen. So as I've mentioned before, Lightning wore this paint job in the Cars book, Mater's, Mater Saves Christmas, which was originally published back in 2009, and, and I would imagine that he would, Lightning would wear this paint job around Christmas time. In December, that is. I mean, every December at Christmas time. Every Christmas time, I should say. And now let's compare him. And now let's, uh, before I compare him, let's, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his happy facial expression in his headlight stickers and no tambos on the hood, no number or his name signature. And on both sides we've got the red rim white wall tires and the exhaust pipes and the gas cap and the green retro lightning bolt. No tambos on the back side, just the just the taillight stickers. And underneath it says Disney Pixar made in Thailand. 2021 and now let's compare and now let's compare them to the other McQueens in the dark red here we've got his, the cruising lightning McQueen so as you can see here are some here are some similarities and differences both are lightning McQueen both are dark red and have the headlight stickers with the no 95 and no tampos or his name signature and both have the smiling expression but here are some differences spoiler 
No spoiler. Both have the exhaust pipes and the gas cap and the red rim white wall tires. Yellow lightning bolt on white half wide oval. Green retro lightning bolt. Both have no tambos on either of the back side or the back bumper, just the tail light stickers. Although this cruise in Lightning McQueen, you should have the bumper stickers. And this one is a very inaccurate die cast. So hopefully I'll get the other cruise in Lightning McQueen with the bumper stickers from 2020, which came out as a single in 2020, in a two pack with Sally, and in another two pack with Doc Hudson. And now for Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen. So, both are Lightning McQueen. Both wear the dark shade of red. Both have the ducktail spoiler. And here are some differences. Determined, smiling facial expression. Friendly, happy facial expression. 95 on headlight sticker, no, none, no number 95 on headlight stickers. Rusty's logo, no Rusty's logo. 95 on top and name signature on top, no 95 or name signature on top. Red rim black wall light year racing tires, red rim white wall tires, Nine, number 95, and, no 95. A few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Little Torquey Pistons, Revolting, Mood Springs, and No Stall. No sponsor logos. Yellow lightning bolt on half wide oval. Green lightning bolt. Rusty's logo. No Rusty's logo. Just the exhaust pipes and the gas caps. Rusty's and Rusty's on back side, 95 on tail light stickers, no 95 on tail light stickers or Rusty's logo. And and lastly, but definitely not least, Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. So, both are Lightning McQueen, both bear a dark shade of red, but here are some different. and both have the ducktail spoiler, but here are some differences. Working headlights, headlight stickers, Rusty's on hood, no Rusty's on hood, 95 and name signature, no 95 and name signature, Rusty's on spoiler, no Rusty's on spoiler. Black wall red rim light year racing tires, red rim white wall tires, both have the exhaust pipes and, and the gas caps on both sides. Lightning bolt stickers on sides, no lightning bolt on sticker on both sides. N number 95 on lightning bolt, no 95, no number 95 on lightning bolt. Both have the retro lightning bolt, but this one is gold, while well, this one is green. Rusty's logo on lightning bolt, no Rusty's logo on lightning bolt. Working taillights, Rusty's and 95 on backside. Taillight stickers and no Rusty's or 95 on backside. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Cars 1 Lightning McQueens. We've got regular, normal Cars 1 Lightning McQueen, Ton Lightning McQueen, Finish Line Lightning McQueen, Dynaco Lightning McQueen, Dynaco 
dirt track, Lightning McQueen. Cactus, Lightning McQueen. Cruising, Lightning McQueen. Radiator Springs, Lightning McQueen. And lastly, Smell Swell, Lightning McQueen. And that is it. Whew. So, what do you guys think? Which Cars 1 Lightning McQueen decal is your favorite? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And hopefully I'll get some cars to review for my new, ser my new diecast series in December, known as 25 Days of Disney Cars Die Disney Cars. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now, and have Merry Christmas in July.